doing a review. This is not sponsored at all so I just wanted to share with you guys what I thought of their products. I have never really been into any types of like skinny tees or you know all the different types of ones that you hear. On Instagram there's so many like I just always thought they were like some sort of you know new trend like a fad and I just wasn't really into the whole laxative thing as well that usually comes with them. After doing a bit of research on these teas, I actually found out that they don't have any laxatives in them at all, which is really important because I don't agree with teas that just make you go to the toilet. So that was the first thing I was looking out for when we could start. I've never tried any teas before, so this I thought would be really interesting. So I've got the 14 day detox blend and also the 14 day fat burn blend. This one you would have in the morning and you'd usually just have it with breakfast. It's got six different ingredients in it. Organic fennel seed, organic nettle leaf, marshmallow leaf, organic juniper berry, organic dandelion root, organic rose petal. So as you can tell, all those ingredients are completely natural and they are supposed to alkalize, cleanse and detoxify and reduce bloating. Definitely noticed that my bloating had gone down. My body seems to be quite sensitive to different foods that I eat. So if I eat something in particular that's got salt in it, I just blow up. I don't know why, but I've just always been like that. So drinking this did help to keep my stomach not quite as like fluffy throughout the day and I did also notice that at the end of the two weeks I did feel a little bit leaner which is always nice. Yeah so this replaced my morning coffee. I'm not a massive coffee drinker but I definitely like you know one or two coffees in a day especially in the morning so I was a little bit worried about how I was going to react to having this instead of coffee and whether I was going to get the same amount of energy but this worked really well for me in the morning. Obviously like with coffee, because it's got caffeine in it, this doesn't have any caffeine in it at all by the way. Although you get like, you know, that nice energy boost at first, you can also crush quite quickly. When I would have it in the morning, I felt refreshed, which was nice. I felt like I was waking up more naturally throughout the day as opposed to just, you know, having a load of coffee in the morning. Sometimes when you feel groggy throughout the day, I didn't really get that feeling. I just felt quite stable all throughout, which was really nice. I really liked having this in the morning. As well, the taste of it, it just tastes like a herbal tea. I'm glad it doesn't taste like green tea because I really don't like green tea. It's not too strong, which is good. It's just quite mild. And then you would have this one in the evening, the fat burn blend. So this one has in it organic peppermint, olive leaf, dandelion leaf, hawthorn leaf and flower, coleus root, organic cinnamon and ginger root. And all of these ingredients are supposed to speed up your metabolism, suppress your appetite and burn fat. This one you're supposed to have before dinner, so I would usually have this like an hour before dinner. This was probably my favourite one out of the two just because I liked having this tea in the evening. It was quite nice when I would be a little bit peckish but I didn't want to like snack. So having this definitely would suppress my appetite and just make me go a little bit longer to dinner. So rather than having like a snack and then dinner, like I was just having this. So it was like my little treat, like having this while my dinner was cooking in the oven and like maybe watching YouTube video, it was just like my me time. This tasted really nice just like a peppermint tea i really like sugar so in all my teas and coffees like there's no way i'm not going to have sugar but this was definitely sweet enough for me to have without which was good and yeah again it wasn't too strong of a taste the stronger you wanted it the more tea you would put in but it was just a really nice pleasant taste it definitely made me eat less at dinner as well because obviously this would fill a bit of a gap 
and when it would come to dinner I would have a smaller portion which was really good. It definitely does suppress your appetite and also meant that I didn't eat any dessert or anything sweet because I just felt really satisfied. So yeah, I really enjoyed having this in the evening. As I said, it was just like my me time and it was like the part of the day that I would really look forward to. I did notice as well that in the two weeks that I was using this, I was sleeping a lot better. I just felt like I went into much more of a deeper sleep and so I don't know if maybe it helped to like settle me throughout the night especially having this like in the evening time I definitely slept really well I also got sent this tea strainer which is really handy because I didn't have one myself anyway so it's really cute pink which as most of you know is my favourite colour so I have like pink kettle and pink toaster so it definitely matches so my two weeks have come to an end now but there is still so much tea left in the package let me just show you how much is left like this packet was completely full when I got it and I've been using it now for just over two weeks and there is still so much left in there. If I didn't mention, by the way, Thin Tea are an Australian brand. Something that I was quite impressed with was the time that they took to deliver the tea. So this came to me in less than two weeks. I think it was 10 days, which is really quick considering it came all the way from the other side of the world. I actually missed the delivery of this, but the delivery driver actually managed to get this through the letterbox, even with this as well. So the fact that the packaging is so like flexible and lightweight is really good because it just goes through the door really easily. I did take this away with me for a few days and it just really easily fit into my suitcase. The tea didn't fall out, obviously, because it's like resealable. Yeah, so it was absolutely fine to travel with as well. So Thin Tea set out a meal plan for you, which I think is a really good idea. Like they're really realistic in their approach and they tell you that you have to eat well and exercise and combining that with these teas should produce results. But what I really like is that their approach is really realistic. So they're not telling you that by having these teas, you're gonna magically lose tons of weight and stuff. Sometimes you'll get companies that will promise you the world. They just tell you that you need to eat really well and exercise and combine that with these teas, not just rely on the tea alone. The meal plan is really good because it doesn't cut out any food groups or it doesn't focus on any food groups. I am a really big believer in you need a bit of everything. Thin tea give you a meal plan that will work for everybody. They are just giving you like, you know, really good tips that anyone can use. Um, I'm just going to get their meal plan up so I can just show you a little bit what it looks like. So they talk about eating food that's as close to its natural state as possible and not cutting out any groups as well. It talks about how important complex carbs are and proteins, which is really good because you get so many companies telling you that you need to cut carbs out and you know, all this stuff. Just got a list of some food groups that you should be eating. It's got some tips and some good lunch ideas and dinner ideas. And it just gives you a really good idea of what you should be eating. But there's some recipes as well. So if you're a bit stuck on dinner or lunch ideas, but as I said, it's not too much of a specific meal plan that you can't follow. It's just, just eating real nutritious food and that is the best way to do it. So I really like the fact that they're promoting genuine health and not some sort of fad diet with like 1000 calories or something. The only thing I can think of is that with a tea strainer, sometimes the tea would fall out and you would get a little bit at the bottom of the cup. So I think maybe the holes are a little bit too big. That's the only, like it's not even a negative, but that's the only thing I can think of. I'm really surprised at how quickly this became a part of my routine. I really didn't have well any expectations to be honest because like I said I've never tried any teas before so I'm pleasantly surprised. Thank you so much to Thin Tea for sending me these products. I now won't just think that every tea company is a fad. I really like this tea. Yeah I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you've got any more questions, then just leave me a comment down below. I will link Thin Tea down below in the description box, so you should definitely go and check them out. But for now, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.